reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. But here's the thing. At least this large group has now walked into our line of fire. And I intend to use that. For example. One more shield. That's step one. Step two. We have a 58 on that gunner. Let's see the sniper first. Because the snipers are the important one. We have a 60 on that gunner from you. Please do so. No. Miss the target. What about you? You have a 90. Let's execute a double tap. Okay. Alright, now you have your double tap going, but for the other two now are grey out, because I do no longer have line of sight on them. However, the potential problem is that they have uh, an overwatch on us. So I'm going to use Mustang again. Only to get rid of the overwatch, I think. Closing on Using his lightning now. reflexes. I did not trigger it from here. Intriguing. Understood. Moving out. Okay, there we go. Lightning reflexes, engage. That bastard is a sentinel who still has... Uh... Did I ever mention I don't like sentinels? But at least now I have line of sight on them. Let's get rid of the priest. Getting rid of the priest will get rid of the holy warrior. Now the sentinel is vulnerable, and I'm gonna give him holo target to help that along. Okay. So that worked, but that also gives us other problems. Now I could spend the full override, and I've also uncovered the guy in the back. So I'm gonna spend the full override to uh, take the turret. It's not the greatest use of full override, and I cannot capture a turret. However, that's gonna be a good way to get out of this situation. There we go. I'll try to get control. Because now I can actually use that turret. I'm in. Discover more turrets. And potentially, can I use a turret now? Yes, I can. And I can shoot down that annoying bastard. No more overwatch for you, buddy. No more life for you. Okay. So that's not the greatest use of full override. However, it did manage to break this stalemate where I wouldn't... One of our boy here is a bit in trouble. I did not, um, I kind of forgot or did not, completely did not see the other one in the back here, who would put this guy in trouble. Can I get a shot from here? I can. So I'm going to use her hail of bullets to get that guy, the elite officer, or maybe demolition, let me see. Let me see. Let's go here with Rogue. I'm going. What's my options? I have Frosty, Rogue, and you left. Okay, Giggles. If instead of doing a hail of bullet, I do a demolition, I would potentially break the cover. Let's bring Frosty out in the open and see what his hit chances are before making that call. None whatsoever. I thought I had a shot from here. Okay. I can handle that. Right, sir. Sure. Uh, 
41 regular hit. If I stay here, I'm gonna get shot by s with somehow. Let's go Halo Bullet. Eleven damage is great, but these bastards have a shit ton and a half of HP. This, according to you, will trigger more stuff, which will probably be the turret. Right. But I still want to put you here to All get right, uh, your ever vigilant up. Let's hope this wasn't a mistake. Let's hope that he will target the turret and or. The ever vigilant will catch him. They're backing up. Back. They're backing up. And the ever vigilant got him. Okay. Yes. You see that? We won that bet. And here comes more. Got some advent here. But that's fine. They come into our range in their turn, so they don't get to act right away. We have the turret as a buffer. Between us and them. What are you doing? Oh, zombies, probably. Yep, okay. One, two, three, four. That's a lot. Five, six. That's it. That's a few. Seven. Oh, he's reanimating the entire group I just took down. Oh, but he's gonna get the feedback for every zombie. That's funny. That's probably gonna kill him. Not quite. Okay, uh, some explodey. What are these? Well, okay, that's just a zombie. And that's just a zombie, and it's not interesting. That is a few options. But you need to reload. You are a snapshot build, so you may be able to take a shot. But snapshots have a much lower hit chances. However, explodey, do not care about your... Uh, your hit chances. So he's just a zombie, but nonetheless. This means he's not waiting, wasting his action. I have a 72 on a priest, and that's what I'm gonna take. Nice! That's a stasis, okay. Alright, our snipers are getting a bit far from the action. We're gonna have to think about relocating them soon. We have this building here and this building here. We'll see what comes uh, next. Uh, these are all zombies, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what the turret can do. Can you finish off the sectoid? Got a 62 and a specter. You have a 55. Take it. You have two chances. That's the first. But you have another one. Nice! There goes a zombie. Alrighty then. That changes things. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest move of all time to uh, use Master Enemy on a turret, but uh, it is making things slightly easier. No problem, boss. We're having a little visual bug, still seeing the health bar of some zombies. That's not a big deal. I cannot reach you with flamethrower. What about Mustang here? Mustang, if I come forward, I'm gonna trigger that turret. I don't think I can avoid it at this point. What about you, buddy? Frosty. Yeah, let's go forward What's with Frosty. It's gonna get the turret, I know. 
But I want to see if I can get that mute on. I did. He's just not dead, but I did. From there on, I think I'm just going to do that and finish off that guy. All right. So the mutant was a dangerous one, and he's now done. The specter will likely use a specter ability. So right now, the most dangerous thing would actually be the turret. Seems doable. So buddy here, you don't have a shot. You will, however, and you have shredding. So come on up. Let's get that turret. I'm gonna use one of my free reload to do, hopefully, a rapid fire on the turret. Nice. There we go. Nice hits. Alright, so at this point we have the, the stasis, which we can't do much about, and the specter. On the move. I'm gonna go grab this. The Spectre, I suspect, will use his special ability. The Priest will probably do a Stasis. So I'm only gonna move forward then with some of our folks, getting closer to the action. Buddy is gonna go to Overwatch. Final is gonna come closer. It's not too far. And last but not least, the Giggles. Orders confirmed on the move. I'm gonna put the Giggles in Overwatch as well. Overwatch. In case we catch the uh, the Stasis Priest if he moves out of the way. Let's see what he will do. He's probably gonna stay there though and use his ability. The Spectre comes in first with its special ability. Yeah, you can't hit him this state. Yeah, so we kind of wasted all of those. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna do a special ability to copy a person. Okay, so the copy person go there. Where do the specter go? You go over here. Okay. The best way to just uh, defeat that is just to kill the specter outright. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So you're staying put and using your abilities. Stasis of one of ours. And then fire. Okay. Incoming over here! All right, sure. You have a 51 on the Spectre. Let's do the Sniper first, because I don't think uh, they're going to move this turn. Let's take those pot shots. Shot to connect. We're going to need to move them for soon enough. Let's take that 72. Gotcha. All right. Dead from above, reload. Good to go. Alright, we're gonna need to start moving our snipers after that one. But for now, for now, I'm going to move here. Is it clear? Hopefully without triggering more enemies. I just had to say it. I think that's just the turret though. I don't think I've triggered the other guys behind him. Now I'm gonna do double barrel on the Spectre. There you go. You can't handle me. So that's gonna give you implacable, and I'm gonna move behind cover. With the free movement. I hope it's worth it. Just like that. Okay. Now the problem is I've triggered this turret. Let's see if I can take it down without triggering the group behind. First shred the armor, and then I can use my own turret 
do some turret on turret action. I'm gonna have to kill it soon, the one that we hacked. Because uh, I'm sure I'm gonna lose the control soon. I'm gonna... Uh, Venom. Let me just double check. Venom, do you have... You have... The fail safe. But you don't have... To, do you have Trojan? You do. Enemy units that are hacked take damage and lose their action on the turn the effect hands. So I don't have to worry about it. If I lose control, she's just... Uh, the turret's just gonna... Lose their next turn. Okay. So since we've uh, seen a wee bit of uh, people behind over there... I'm gonna try and put some people on Overwatch here. See if we can catch some of them. As I imagine they will be triggered soon. Don't slow me down. Moving to Overwatch. I know I'm bunching up a bit, but hopefully we're gonna take advantage of this Overwatch. All right, it's still hacked. Stasis end. Come on up, buddy. Walk into an overwatch. Okay. Let's move up with Frosty. I'm sure I'll uh, trigger them there. There we go. I've got eyes on advent troops. Oh, that's the general. Oh, I may have made a mistake triggering that early. Oh. I was not expecting to be at the general yet. Alright. Well, change of plan. Time to blow shit up. Bunker Buster, go. Nice. To blew up the walls. The Bunker Buster doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does destroy every wall and everything in its path. So uh, we got, we killed the turret by breaking literally the floor under it. Okay. So sadly, our sniper are out of reach for that one, which is uh, not the best. But, Frosty is definitely at the right spot. We also have our own turret, which is still active and can fire on the commando. Well, I've... Well, I take it back. Using a master enemy on that turret was one of the smartest moves I've ever done. I was very useful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you... Uh, weirdly, I don't see the general as being flanked. Might be a visual bug there as well. Let's go in closer with you. Now, Mustang, I'm gonna free reload. And we're gonna pick our target because we have a lot of choice. 74 on the general. So actually, I might stun the general instead. In the, coil. the general is by far the most dangerous one on the board, and uh, just removing him without so we don't get shot seems like a good idea. So our snipers are now completely uh, in a bad position. So. Got it. We're just gonna have to bite the bullet and start mo moving them. When it comes to Venom, I'm gonna get a wee bit closer. I guess that'll be okay. Let's take a pot shot. Ah, oh, come on. Not much of a hit. Buddy, 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 buddy. Whatever you say. You still have two grenade and a shredder weapon available. Can you reach people with grenade? Not quite. Not quite. So just do that. Come on, focus. Well, I knew I didn't stun him for nothing. Oh, 
All right. If I go here with you. We now have a hundred, a ninety-six, a ninety-six. I love how these guys are accurate. Since the general is stunned, I'm actually gonna fire on somebody else. Put them under pressure in the back. Giggles, we're running out of room. You can just What's go over, over here so you don't get shot back. Husker. You got only a 40. Mm -hmm. Thinking. Giggles. Giggles, you are a bit damaged. I don't want to send you to the front line. So just go over here and overwatch in case you can catch somebody. Same thing for Oscar. We're just gonna trade places. Go, go, go. We're gonna put you ever vigilant on on this side. Turret is still hacked. Oh, I mastered the enemy. I'm an idiot. It doesn't unhack. I'm just not used to doing that on turrets. Ooh, ten damage and ruptured. Okay. Whoa. Uh, we're still alive. I'm hit. Not for long at this rate. Oh no. Stunned for just one, though. He's gonna get back up. Alright, he gets back up. There's an uh, argument for using your your boomstick, but with using this, I, oh, I cannot because I just got up from being stunned. I was expecting to fire, fire twice. Uh, Icon is only at 20%. What about lockdown? 48. I mean... I cannot shoot after moving, so we might as well take that 48. With double tap, I have two chances to hit. First one dead. That Only a graze. And a critical. Wow. Kill confirmed. Uh, Venom. Venom, you have the general in your sights. But we need to get that vanguard. So that's the time to use Buddy. Blow those assholes. General is not going to be stunned forever as well. We need to take him out. There we go. Might as well use Rogue too. Let's catch them all in an explosion. Ready for the fireworks. There you go, not much left of them. And then fire on the general with your salvo. Eh. Next remove, just shuffle about. Icon. Icon, you're just gonna keep moving. Get closer. I'm all over it. Venom. We need to finish the general, so we might as well. That's done. That's it. Get in the water. Final. I must reload. Use your free reload and see what we got. We got an 88 to finish this guy. That is perfect. One less problem. Giggles. Let's see if you can get a shot from this position. You can indeed. 
You got a grenadier in your sight. Nice. Target eliminated. Ammo out. Now here's the thing. This guy will probably not be the last enemy, even though we've just destroyed the uh, the general's group. I think there's gonna be at least a group of two drones still hiding somewhere. Because this video has already been a bit long, because we started with the uh, secondary mission. Uh, when these guys are dead, which should be I'm soon, if I uh, use run and gun and go in. Got it covered. Oh, close specialist, but that's fine because you are lightning reflexes. Uh, that's another turret, okay. Oh, and a crystal hit behind him. Nice. The animation of the turret led us to spot Enemy the crystal. Down. Extra move. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna make a cut here because as you see, there's only crystal left, which I'm sure you trust me to handle it. And uh, this video has already been quite long because we have a time. small mission to do before. The general is down. The danger group is down. Need to find new cover. Never mind. On we go. Never fucking mind. We keep on going. Okay, and go oh, in a queen. Uh. And here I thought I just had one or two small group to hunt down. But no. We have queens, hunters, sectopod. Oh crap! Right, and a turret. Armor hit. Those bastard accurate turrets, man. Okay. Okay, uh, all right, things change quickly from I got this to holy shit. Now, Venom doesn't have enough hacking skill to reliably haywire these guys, but if I can shut it down and give myself one or two turns of leeway that we can... Uh, fight the chrysalids I'm not gonna control enemy looks tasty but I'm not gonna I'm not desperate enough to try a 50% which would have worked ironically I'm just gonna stun you let's get it We're good to go so I'll he's disabled uh, we're gonna focus on the chrysalid uh, that's a lot. Okay, so, uh, options. I need to shred armor. Locked and loaded. Now, Giggles is a shredder. Giggles has the queen in her sight at 100%. May I rapid fire at 88? I may. So, 20 da 19 damage and out of armor. That's how I love my attacks. Frosty! You're gonna hit the queen as well. We're gonna do a 1-2 combo. Regular attack. Did I ever mention that I love rangers? Because you do one attack. And then one attack is not enough. You then do rapid fire and do three of them. Because of the lockdown ability, you negate the penalty of uh, rapid fire. Then you can reliably put three damage on target, One down, three attacks on target, and then get a free movement just for shit and giggles. All right, for that free movement is going to wait though. I want to see what my options are. And that turret, man, has been very useful. Taking 
down a crystalline. Okay, rogue. You are out of explodey. Husker, if I just shuffle over here. Uh, that's just, well, we need to get those hunters. So that they don't, you know, poison us. You actually have a decent hit chance now that you are on this side. Uh, you grace. Lockdown is uh, no longer in range, so just do that. Don't need to ask twice. Buddy, I fear getting closer because I don't want to get too close to Chrysalid and their Chrysalid poison. However, I cannot get a shot from here. Uh, and these bastards, the big ones, the uh, the hunters, have uh, lightning reflexes, so trying to use Overwatch is not going to help. I realize now that I had blue screen with you, or red screen, and I could have maybe hacked you instead. Oops. Uh, let's take a look at your options. You got a beautiful 96 on a Rocketeer. Maybe making sure we don't get rocketed is a good enough choice. So let's banish him. Hopefully we get two shots in and uh, get rid of him. That's sweet. Another one. No. Just off the mark. Extra move. Shuffle once. Okay. Now Mustang is the one in trouble. And Mustang will run away. But will that be enough to escape a chrysalid hit? I don't know. I hope, but there's no guarantee. Now, can I concuss these things? I don't think so. I think these things will be immune to concussion, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It is disoriented, so it's not immune. I'll take that. Husker, well, might as well start working on that armor. Deflection. Buddy. Any type of Overwatch will so will be kind of useless. So I'm gonna go put Buddy on top instead. Move, move, move. And trigger another turret, because of course. That's a lot of turrets. Alright, now let's hope that we don't get hit by... Okay, you go on Overwatch. You too, maybe? But that's that's the big one. That's the big one. They're gonna be immune to that. No, you get a, you get a graze, okay. Maybe because of the disoriented. All right, but I think we won the bet of Disorient because that reduced their movement range. And they're not able to attack us in melee. Okay. I need some help. Those fucking turrets. So accurate. It's gonna hit. Of course it's gonna hit. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What I'm going to do now is, uh, first things first, restoration. Let's, uh, heal everybody. I cast, uh, my, uh, I cast Mask Your Wound. There we go. Now, you can only do restoration once per mission. But as you can see, it's a uh, one button save your ass. It's mass cure wound. Okay, so I got those damn turrets in my sights. I got also 
Granados. And I think that's what I will do. Mm. Let's use the free reload. Give me a minute. What you got? You have a 100 on that Rocketeer, so please do. Final is very accurate, so I can use him for um, harder shots. While somebody like Giggles can just uh, try to rip a new one to 68 with a rapid fire. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to do a run re regular shots. Okay, so let's rapid fire with you at 88. That's the one. And that's a graze. Oh, these guys have high dodge, so getting more graze on these guys is actually normal. Hmm, my turrets is still useful. Rogue. Just finish it off, please. Not a graze, but it was enough. Husker. Reload. Ranger accuracy. Go rapid fire. Only six. That's minimum damage, I think. It's not a graze. That's a solid hit. We have to get rid of these um, chrysalid problem. Because uh, I cannot get hit with poison. It sucks so much. <sighs> Adjusting sights. All right, lockdown. I can actually get you up there and into a proper sniping position. Do I even have a shot from there? Not really. What's your hit chance? 97? Doesn't matter. Fire from here. All right, I'm glad to have our sniper back into the action. Care of. That's only 62, but please take it anyway. Solid hit. Buddy, 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 buddy. Can you reach them with Granados? Just, just out of reach. If I put you here, you probably be able to, but you're going to be turret food. Hmm. Maybe some turret on turret action. Or maybe I just exploded the turret. Mm -hmm. Let's just explode the turret. Let's not take risk with Buddy because you have the debuff there that makes you take more damage. Ruptured. Well, let's just send the turret tumbling by breaking the, the floor. No more turrets. That'll do. Now, Sectopod might wake up soon. I hope it's worth it. Advent forces on the uh, trigger more. Mm. But uh, let's kill a drone with my turret. <laughs> it's been a. Uh, Interesting journey with those turrets in that episode, let's say. Alright, uh, Frosty, you're the last one, and I regret my decision to move closer. Even if I, that means getting a very important kills here with that Rocketeer. Let's get the kill. It's gonna give me implacable, and then I can uh, move back into cover. All right. Sectopod is no longer shut down, but it's gonna give the Trojan virus, and he's gonna lose his turn. They're all over me. Oh, a mutant elite joins the party. Holy fucking shit! So that mission is far from over. 
Oh, crap. And now I'm out of Explodey. No. No. Okay. I'm under fire. Oh, I'm in trouble now. This is what I was talking about at the, uh, or at the f when I was beginning the mission. That when you don't encounter monsters early on, it means that they're all bunched up together near the end. And oh crap. Ha! <laughs> You're hitting my own turret. I'll take it. Alright, now we have multiple problems in the fact that the sectopod is awake and now I need to take it down which is a big bag of HP as well as all of these that just appeared and I don't ha I have no more explodey to uh, thin that group up very fast that's that's a lot gods what do I do if I could stun the elite, it would give me maybe a bit of a chance. Let's get rid of the Berserker, because that's also uh, an aggressive melee problem that I cannot uh, let take a shot at one of our soldiers. We're going to have to prioritize targets. What kind of hit chances do you have, Rogue? You have a 100 on the Berserker. Easy target. Okay. So one problem solved. And one pressure unit gone. Now, I will do a Ranger special with you on the Sectopod. Which is a... Ah, you get a Graze, though. Which is a hit. And then Lockdown bonus, Rapid Fire. Right, he's all half dead already. Icon. Lockdown. You have a 97 on that drone and a 62 on a Vanguard. Venom. Venom is gonna use a free reload. Ready to rock. And he's gonna get rid of the drone. Okay. One last problem. It has to be dead. Buddy is still in not the best position. Final. We get a 100 on the sectopod, but he will use you to get rid of the vanguard. Okay, one last problem. So Giggles needs to run the fuck away from this large group. All right, Frosty. We need to take down the Sectopod. But sadly, you don't have enough ammo to do a double tap or a triple tap, as it may. Back Same deal on. with you. I have a rapid fire that I can do at 77. I'll take it. Hopefully, we can get both shots in. <sighs> we got one in. Icon, you are a snapshot build, so you may be able to reload and take a 0%. If I grapple you here, it will put you in a very awkward spot. Now you can fire. Do I take that risk with him? Because then uh, you would be in the crosshair of some of these dangerous enemies. Same thing for lockdown. I can get her Go up out. here. Where she actually has some cover, so we can safely fire from here. Hmm, Centurion. Or finish the Sectopod. Ooh, that is a very good question. Because we need that. Uh, getting rid of a Centurion that is close and could do damage is very valid.
buddy, I'm gonna take the risk, I'm sorry. And put you in that corner there. We have the turret. And we have these guys. Can you reach them with your weapon? No. Turret it is. Right, so how many people do I have left? I have Icon, I have a Lockdown, and I have Frosty, and that's it. Okay. Priority is the sector part. Let's do this. Icon, can you finish it off? If you can finish it off, that will free Lockdown, but it was not enough. That was not enough. By 2 HP. Okay, I have to take it. Big boy down. Uh, you're gonna reload because you're almost out. Let's do this. But now we have a mutant elite on the loose and some people were not in perfect cover. So this is a really bad. Okay, and we have this guy. He's gonna use his personal shield, so that means he's not gonna move. In theory, because that's one action. But firing a giggle is... <laughs> not great either. Alright, so same deal with you. If you're using your war cry, it means you won't move, I think. That's a regular muty. Oh, please don't kill my giggles. It's a suppression. Oh, uh, got a hit through high cover. And, uh, but he's bleeding out, he's not dead. Wow, that was rough. Mutons are dangerous. And a turret. Let's not forget the turret. Who, of course, always hits. Ah, uh, we're taking a beating on this one, guys. Lots of wounded. Alright, Icon, please get rid of the turret. Nope. Lockdown, you... We'll use your double tap to make sure. Good thing I did, because the first one is a graze. But then I can follow up, hopefully hitting. That's the Centurion, okay. Nailed him. Death from above. You're gonna stay right here. So, 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 so. I've already used my super restoration. If I had known, I would have kept it a wee bit for later. Uh huh. But then if I did so, Giggles would probably be dead. So. Buddy. Final. Final. Finishing the Rocketeer, I believe, is the smart play. There's one last problem. I have no ammunition. Giggles, you're almost dead and you only have a 25%. You have a 47 on that Muton. Turret on turret action. I guess I'm gonna have to call this episode the turret special. Alright, sure. Let's see that ranger accuracy. Let's just reload. Get a 55. Venom, I think you're only you're only going to heal Giggles because uh, I want her to survive. Okay. Now, Giggles, you're only gonna hunker down. I want you to go in survival mode. Now you. Can get a 70% chance of stun. 
Beautiful. That's one less problem. But the big one is, of course, the Elite. And that problem is not solved. So, Husker. Take that pot shot at 55. Okay. Buddy, I would love to use your heavy weapon, but not at any cost. If I poke you back down here, I can do that safely now that th that mutant is stunned over here and cannot flank you next turn. I'm only gonna take that pot shot, but... Alright, cool. The point of me moving him is to be able to use his uh, weapon, heavy weapon next turn against the, two, the group of mutants over there, hopefully. Now, I could... Perhaps get that flanking shot with you, but uh, that would put you vulnerable next turn. And since you have that uh, debuff and taking more damage, Whatever you would you have a chance to just be one-shotted by an elite. I'm gonna do that. Okay, more war cry and taking a shot. Oh, the grenade. Yeah, okay. We're taking a beating! Okay. I can't move! Oh, there's more. Oh, and now you have a perfect shot because... Uh, well, I lost a ranger. Got something new. Okay. Uh, God's that mission, man. Let's keep on with the turret special. Okay, what do we got? Buddy has got a line on both the, on um, could use your heavy weapon to make things a bit easier. Final. You have a 93 on that muton, so please do so. More grazes. It was a hit at least. You will take a hail of bullet on the elite. Mustang. Is it the run and gun time? Maybe. Rogue. Let's go do some flamethrower action. Or some uh, acid grenade would actually be valid as well, but I can hit them both with the flamethrower. All right. Here comes the little clutch moment that's gonna turn the tide. They're both... Okay, only the elite is burning, but that's fine. The elite is the dangerous one. Which will open up... ...room for other tactics, now that uh, the elite is uh, taken out of the picture. I believe I can run and gun with you. Get rid of that one. Okay, so that's that. That's it. I'm out. Icon in your snapshot build. Seems doable. See, he's probably gonna be very little hit chances, but let's take a look. It's a 54. Yeah, it was worth a try. Worth Get the shot. Together. Okay, now, 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 now that the, he is burning. Let's be a more aggressive. Buddy, I know I'm leaving you without cover. But. Fire away. Blast 
Okay. Well, let's just put you in that place where you can fire next turn. And why don't you hold a target for shit and giggles? Venom! Why don't you move around? I'm trusting you here. Get an angle here, maybe? A poor one, but I'll take it. It's a hit. Might be enough with the fire. It was enough. Positive confirmation. Okay, we got it done. Oh, we lost the ranger and got a lot of wounded. 55 enemies. 55. Granted, five or six of these are additional zombies. That counts uh, as enemy killed. But, uh, yeah, as I said in the beginning of that one, when you don't encounter any enemies at the beginning, it's more a curse than a blessing, because it means that they're all in the back there waiting for you to stumble into them. And we got... We didn't get overwhelmed like we did earlier in the in the season. But we lost a good ranger to a grenade by mutons. Alright, I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, Winter Father done. Uh, we lost a Master Sergeant Ranger with 72 kills to his name and his glorious mustache. That is a loss. We're getting uh, some snipers growing up. Let's give him dead eye. Getting a lot of promotion, at least. Frosty is growing up into a master sergeant. There we go. You're gonna get combat fitness. Four aim, one mobility, two HP, four will, four dodge make you into a real monster final final gets light him up he can now fire twice you're gonna be a monster as well hmm that's not too bad Now, I know some of you have said there's a good uh, opportunity to use Shadow and Knife's attack, but I've never been big on it. Since we don't have a lot of actual medics, perhaps you giving you this... ...as a bonus healer could be useful. Giggles is now a Master Sergeant. I'm gonna give you Trevor's Fire, so you will now be able to fire twice like a Ranger. And Giggles appropriately. Mustang, also a Master Sergeant. I think that's our first actual Assault Master Sergeant. So what do we choose? Code Base, Shotgun Attack. Blocked by Heavy Cover. So we don't use a Shotgun with you. You are... Yeah, you are a stun build. So it's definitely gonna be Chain Lightning. Definitely. Hmm, you can get Locked On. Does Locked On count with Rapid Fire? I'm not sure. Reposition would be great with you. So would hit and run. Or I could just wait and give you lethal. So much choices. I'm gonna give you extra conditioning. Run and gun reduced by one turn. Making you more efficient. Alright, so we took a beating on that one. One dead and lots of wounded. Uh, that large group, lar very large group in the end, all clustered together, gave us a headache instead of, uh, you know, fighting them one at a time. 
Alright, but we do get a lot of good stuff. Advent data pad are now going to be really precious. As we move on to the end game, we're not going to be getting as much intel because uh, we're not looking for mission uh, as much. And uh, we're going to turn a lot of the turn a lot of the people uh, or rebel into supply, uh, especially in the newly liberated region. And since we don't have a lot of research left, at that data pad description and getting intel becomes really important. Uh, sure. Let's get a level two going. Okay, so this worked, but ow. We get a lot of uh, wounded, bravely wounded for 25 days. But we got it done. We got it done. Let's just see the result and that will be it for this episode, which I believe will be running very long. Thanks to that mission and its prelude. Liberated. Uh, one pip down. Alright, and that's what I mean by uh, we're gonna need those data pad. Uh, because as we li keep liberating those regions, these 11 people are, will be no longer on intel. We're gonna put one person on recruit and the other supplies. Which will give us an enormous amount of supply to equip all of our soldiers to end game level. But that will severely reduce our intel intake. Especially as soon as we uh, get that one done as well. And that one done as well. The people that are in Tel now is only four of them here and four of them there. So that's not a lot. That's straight eight. Ouch. So data pad is going to become really relevant. As we uh, probably will not be getting much intel. And since we've almost completed all of the possible researches, we can just let these guys, let the, the research team do all the intel gathering for us. As we push toward the end game. Alright, sure. The Psionic Gate is going. Jailbreak is going. That would give us four new people, rebels in this region, to turn on to intel. That's going to be very important. Let's just do a bit of maintenance on our places here. Let's put more people on supply. I should also start putting on maybe more soldiers in these. One of our... I mean, I can put just a squire. If I put down a technical... Uh... I should at least equip her. If I put on a technical and equip her with two rockets, I mean, that's that should be enough to protect the place. Alright, well, I don't have the supplies. I don't do have the supplies. Well, I'll do that off camera, okay? I'm just gonna equip some of our uh, Haven with uh, so technical squire with two rockets, and that will be enough to protect them and do infiltration mission. Cool. So that'll be it for, it for that one, guys. It's already, I, I believe, a long episode. But we've liberated yet another region. This entire continent is now liberated. And we have a beautiful supply of income. That will carry us toward the end game. Uh, and the, into the plasma phase of weapon. Plasma weapon, they require a core and lots of supplies. So uh, we're going to need all of that to equip our endgame soldiers. And I believe we have a plan. I don't think I will contact the last three regions here that are uh, obscured. 
I think uh, I think we're good for the end game. We have enough supplies. I think uh, after these two towers and these two liberation, I'm gonna say we have enough liberated region, enough supplies, and we're all gonna concentrate on getting those supplies done, getting those uh, story mission done, pushing toward the end game. That's the plan. So uh, please do some YouTube stuff. Any buttons will do. Uh, in a, including the join button if you so desire and I will see you next time thank you